Uh, well, Chaos, congrats on the big win. First thank and you, foremost, though, man, we interview a lot of fighters back here. Not many of them wearing suits. Why did thank you have to go throw, throw the threads on real quick? Man, you know, man, you know, <laughs> hey, when you look good, perform good, hey, fight good. So, you know, all the above, man. Yeah, well, you fought really well tonight. And thank it had almost been exactly a year since you had recorded a knockout. Had that felt like quite a long time to you? Definitely, man. It felt, it felt good, though, man, you know. Uh, one of my trainers was always saying, he, he kept telling me, man, you know, around this uh, time last year, you had a knockout. And he was just telling me, like, man, like, like around this time, man, you just perform, man. Like, you just something special, man. So, I don't know. It's just a lot going on, man, right now. I mean, I'm just happy I got the W, happy uh, I was able to get a finish. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy that I'm not uh, hurt. For sure. And, and, of course, a lot of people were looking forward to this fight because they were expecting action between you two. And there yeah. definitely was action. But you also were, like, very disciplined, very focused. Like, was that, was that kind of something that you had in mind for this fight? Of, like, definitely, you, there's going to be some explosive moments, definitely. but discipline. Uh, you know, every fight, man, I'm just getting better and better, man. You know, I'm evolving as a uh, mixed martial artist. And, you know, every time I'm coming into the cage, they're just going to see a better me. You said that the heel hook wasn't that close. And no. I believe you because it actually looked like you could have stepped away a couple times. Yeah. Were you actually, like, just comfortable staying in I that mean, position? I mean, I was pretty comfortable, man. You know, like I said, man, I felt like at the end of the day, um, I've worked. Like, I, I roll with a lot of black belts and stuff like that. They put me in situations like that. I like to train uncomfortable. So being in the fight when I was there, I really wasn't, um, like, I was just patient with it. You know, like I said, it probably looked deeper and it probably looked worse than really what it really was because I really wasn't in any danger um, you know I was just happy to uh, get through it and uh, be able to perform the next round and uh, get the finish in the third round for real how about the the leg kicks was there any adversity you had to deal with with those I mean I mean I feel like every, every fight you know when you're going against a game opponent is going to be some type of adversity uh, you know I start to feel it a little bit but you know the adrenaline going and you know I just train to dominate and uh, that's what I came here to do seemed like your corner was really getting on you to stay aggressive or get yeah. even more aggressive in the third round. What was going on in the third round, and, and why did you think they wanted uh, you to basically, pursue Basically, you know, it, it was a close fight. You know, it was a close fight. I felt like I was winning. I felt like I was doing enough. I was the aggressor. I was really on it. I, I, I held the center of the cage down. But I felt like uh, they just wanted me to uh, really apply the pressure and uh, just give it my all like I did. Where do you think this, uh, this win ranks in terms of just quality of opponent, your performance, kind of where you're at in your career? Like, is this one you're pretty proud of compared to some I mean, of the other ones? definitely, man. I'm always proud just to get that W, uh, especially get the finish. You know, I'm only getting better and better. And, you know, this, this, this I mean, to, to, to fight a guy like that, you know, and get a finish like that, you know, it's definitely something to be proud of. But I never admire my work too long. You know, I just continue to just get better, continue to just keep uh, – keep moving forward and whoever they put in front of me, man, you know, just give it my all and be the best me I can be. What do you think a realistic time frame is for your next bout? Um, realistically, man, maybe two, three months. Three months, okay. Yeah. Anybody in mind? Any style of opponent in nah, mind? Anything man. you want? Nah, man, anybody can get it, man. Whoever they put in front of me, man, as long as it makes sense, you know, and uh, that's, really, that's really it. Always fun to watch, man. Congrats Thank on the win. Thank Enjoy you. it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.